Hey now, take a step outside and see the and welcome back to Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. For those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician for over 10 years. So it's that time of year again that Sephora is having their annual VIB sale. It actually starts today, which is November 5th for Rouge members. Now I'm not so sure of the dates of from how long it's going till, but I will have that all that information listed down below in the description box. So I am gonna show you my favorite things that Sephora carries and my recommend, recommendations for the sale in case any of these things you have on your wish list, okay? So this is video number two in my Black Friday's uh, wish list series. And I'm not gonna make a separate makeup video because I pretty much get all of my makeup from Sephora. So all of my makeup favorites are going to be here. My hair favorites are gonna be here. The only thing is I don't have um, body products here because I don't buy my body products from Sephora. But you guys know my favorite body products, which are the Bella Aura um, Reverse Gravity Body Serum the Lawlicious uh, body products, and then also the Lumi body wash, okay? So those are my favorite body products. And like I said, I'm not, I don't have like a ton of body products because my body skin is very sensitive, so I stick with what works with my skin, especially since I have eczema. So let's get into hair first. So my hair is actually a little crazy today. As you guys can see, it is getting really long. And the longer it gets, the less um, curl I have in the front, but the curls in the back are going strong still. <laughs> and I'm not so sure why that is, but my hairstylist did give me some of these pins to pin my hair up for when I wear it curly. I just haven't had time to do that yet, but eventually I will. But so this, I can't really review for you, but this is the Vega More Grow Hair Serum. I started applying this um, to some areas where I was noticing my hair is thinning, which is like right in through here, where all my gray is. <laughs> and a little, I put it down the middle of my scalp and then I put it on the sides here and I put a little bit in the back too, because I have been noticing that my hair is thinning a little bit here. So I've been testing this out and I am getting some new growth hair, which is fabulous. And I picked this up in their grow kit, which um, comes with their hair, um, skin, and nail growth formula. It's gummies. And so I've been taking that for, I've been using this for almost 30 days now, and I do like it, but I can't really tell you if it's truly, truly working yet. But I have noticed that my hair is getting a lot longer and it's getting longer fast. That's another reason why I picked this up because I'm gonna show you a picture here of my goal for my hair, and my goal is hopefully by spring, that's where I will be, okay? <laughs> so this is um, something new that I'm trying, so if you're interested in the Vega More, I did pick this up from Sephora, they do sell the line there. Um, so far I haven't had any reactions to the serum, I really like it. Okay, so that's enough about that. I don't wanna spend three minutes on each product. Okay, so first I'm gonna get into hair tools and hair care. So as you know, if you've been following me um, for a while, I love Dyson, okay? So Dyson makes my favorite hair tools. I do love their Corral hair straightener. This is what I use when I straighten my hair along with the air wrap. So with the air wrap, you know, I, I like the air wrap. Was it necessary for me to really get? Not necessarily for the attachments that I use. So here I got the air wrap complete. And the two attachments I use is the blow dryer attachment to blow out my roots. And then I also use the volumizing brush, okay? Those are the two attachments that I use the most. And I use that to blow out my hair before I straighten it. And then what I use the Dyson um, Corral for is if I don't want that super flat look, I just go in with the front with the Dyson Corral. Um, if I want it to look a little bit flatter. Otherwise, I just use this to mainly blow out my hair, okay? I haven't really been playing around with the other attachments. Now that I have some really good length on my hair, I'm gonna go in and start playing around with this, but I do love the air wrap system. It's been fabulous for me for what I use it for. Now, are there things out there cheaper that are the same thing? Oh, yes. Um, T3 just came out with their um, blow drying um, wand brush, which is pretty cool and it's a lot cheaper. It's not, you know, over $500 like this. 
but they do sell different types of kits for the air wrap system. You can get the complete kit like I did. You can also get um, so a kit that is actually, you know, there's a volumizing kit, there's a smoothing kit. So you could, don't have to get all the attachments. It's not necessary, but I do love it. Now, my favorite and first Dyson tool that I started off with is the Dyson Supersonic blow dryer. I've had my blow dryer, I believe for, um, I think I'm going on almost five years now. So I love my Dyson um, Supersonic blow dryer, best tool. I use this for when I, um, are gonna, I'm going to completely straighten my hair with the um, Corel straightener. Or like today, when I'm wearing it natural, I just pop on the diffuser on here and diffuse my hair with it, okay? Now, they do have um, a new Dyson blow dryer system that has that smoothing attachment, which I'm trying to get my hands on, but I haven't been able to yet because they're still sold out. And here in California, you know, we're having issues getting things because our ports are backed up. So, and I've had a lot of you guys ask me about this stand. This stand, this stand is made by Dyson. I think it's their professional stand. I got it as a gift, but they do have it available on the Dyson website. I'm not so sure if it's on Sephora. I didn't see it, but um, it has. Uh, it's like magnetic here, so your blow dryer goes up here, and then you could put your most used attachment right here, and then you can. I popped the um, diffuser down here on the bottom, and it fits perfectly. I love it because it keeps my counter nice and organized, okay? So there's that. Now, they do sell an organizer for the air wrap, and I'm thinking about getting that because I do keep the air wrap out on my counter. And if I had an organizer and not just keep the big old case on my counter, it would be so much easier, right? <laughs> okay, so that's it for the um hair tools now let's go over hair products i have a lot of hair products okay <laughs> so all my favorite hair products are available at sephora which is awesome okay so let me get everything out um this video is probably not going to be in order of the description box just so you guys know okay so first let's go over styling products okay so my favorite straightener is from okay so orbe and olaplex are my favorite hair products um you know right now um i still love both lines and i i do use them on different occasions like today in the last couple of videos i've um, been using the olaplex line and i usually save um orbe for those special occasions because it is quite uh, pricey and i love the way it's it smells um, for when I want my hair to, you know, smell good and look good because <laughs> the scent is just so intoxicating for me and it's like perfume for me. So my favorite hair straightener from Oribe is the Oribe Straight Away Smoothing Blowout Cream. I still love this. It's one of my favorites. It's got my hair on it. Sorry about that. So this is my favorite blowout cream from Oribe. Next, I have my um this is the dry texturizing spray but this product i don't really like i i meant to grab the gold lust dry shampoo okay so the gold lust dry shampoo is my favorite dry shampoo now the dry texturizing shampoo is a or the dry texturizing spray is a dry shampoo too um but it gives your hair more texture more volume and it also kind of leaves the hair like looking matte and whitish okay so this um there's people that really love it and there's people that don't i'm not one that loves it i love again the gold lust dry shampoo that's my favorite and i'm so sorry for grabbing the wrong one the next one i really like okay so for when i wear my hair like when i use the beach waver i love to use this product right here this is the Tray Set Structure Spray. Okay, so this is a new product from Orbe. It's like a spray mousse, okay? You spray it in your hair in sections, work it in, blow dry out your hair, and then you curl it, okay? And it does help the curls last longer in the hair. I really love this. It's been a fabulous product for me. So that's another love. Um, another styling product that I love is, um, okay, so, this is their universal defense um, protection spray. So this is what I use <clears throat> as like a leave-in conditioner 
to spray on my hair first before I do heat styling to protect it, okay? So it's a detangler, it protects it from UV rays, it protects it from heat. Um, so I do love this, it's been fabulous for me and this is the one that I keep repurchasing and this is semi-new for them too. I used to use either the foundation, I used to use the foundation mist, but that is so much better for protecting your hair. The foundation mist is kind of like, it's kind of like a primer, but I don't know, I just, it's not really like an essential product for me. It's just kind of something you don't need. Um, <clears throat> my next um, product from Orbe that I love for when I wear my hair curly is their priming lotion. This is a leave-in conditioner, and I do love the way that this makes my curls and my waves look when I wear it natural. So this is a favorite for me. This is my favorite out of their um, curling products for my hair. So there you go for that one. Now for shampoo and conditioner, um, I have uh, two here. There's one that I don't have, but um, for when I'm smoothing out my hair with Orbe or just in general, my favorite shampoo of all time from them is the Beautiful Color Shampoo and Conditioner, okay? I have been testing out this shampoo for moisture and control for when I wear my hair all natural. Um, it's beautiful, I love it, um, it's a new favorite. Um, so for those of you who have curly hair, I love this. So it's the shampoo for moisture and control and it's the intense conditioner for moisture and control. It just makes my hair feel so soft and lovely when I wear it curly along with the priming lotion as my leave-in product. Now, <clears throat> so I am a person who washes my hair every day, especially like if I'm working out. Um, if I'm not gonna be sweating, then I just either go in with dry shampoo, like the Gold Lust dry shampoo, um, if I need it. But in between washings, um, if I do have to wash my hair because I wanna get the sweat out, I just cannot rinse my hair, it drives me crazy. I do like this moisture and control um, cleansing cream. And I don't use this for when I wear my hair straight. I usually, when I use this, I wear it natural, but I do like this as an in-between wash. It's like a cleansing cream conditioner. It's so lovely. It smells so good <laughs> and it doesn't irritate my scalp and my hair doesn't look oily or anything like that from this. So. There you go. So those are my favorite Orbe products. Now, my next um, hair care products that I love is Olaplex. So I love the entire Olaplex line. Um, this is what I have been using lately on my hair. All this week, I've been using nothing but Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I did this treatment this week, which is the blonde um, shampoo and the number eight uh, bond intense moisture mask. Now I find that Olaplex really keeps my hair healthy. Um, I like to recommend this if for blondes. Okay. If you go out and ble if you bleach your hair, if you get highlights, if you color treat your hair or do any sort of chemically treated stuff, you use a lot of, um, heat, um, styling products. Olaplex is wonderful at repairing your hair. I've seen amazing results for my hair. I know there's another one that everyone talks about, which is Virtue Labs, and I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to look into it, um, but I really love this blonde shampoo from Olaplex. It's their number four blonde enhancing shampoo. It's my favorite. It works so good at toning out the brassiness in blonde or like gray hair. Um, and then I did style my hair today. This is my new way to, my new favorite styling combination, which if you saw my what I'm loving right now video from a couple weeks ago, you know this, but I did use this in my hair today. So this is the number six bond smoother. And then this is the number seven bonding oil. So I mix these two together and put it all throughout my hair, comb it through, and then I go in with a diffuser. Now, when I wear it straight, oh, this gives me the most beautiful blowout when I wear this. Com I combine them again and then brush it through my hair and then I blow out my hair. So these I love and it's only two products. <laughs> the only thing is I do go through this pretty fast. So that's the only thing. So the, Ol the entire Olaplex line, I love. It's a favorite. It's doing wonderful things for my hair. And yeah, I can't say anything bad about it. <laughs> All right, so let's get into skincare next. Okay, 
Unfortunately, I only have one skincare product here um, that you could pick up from Sephora. Bella Aura isn't in Sephora yet. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. <laughs> Hopefully it will be one of these days soon. So I, this is my favorite SPF. This is the Kula Classic Face Sunscreen. I have this, the one in Cucumber and it's an SPF 30. I don't like to wear anything over um, 30 on my skin. That's just my preference because everything over 30 is just too much for my skin. And then I really start to get irritated from it. So this is my favorite SPF. I love it. It's reef safe. It does have some chemicals in it, but it is a... Um, 70% organic, but this is the only one that I've found that doesn't cause any irritations on my skin. Um, I have issues with sun protection and this one, I just love it. I wear it when I'm in the ocean and it protects my face and I don't get sunburn. I just absolutely love this. So, and you can get it at Sephora and I have that listed down below for you. And you guys know that's my favorite SPF. Okay, so for makeup, I'm going to go over complexion products first, okay? So let me pull it out here. Gosh, I got a lot of makeup <laughs> uh, for you guys. But, you know, you know, all this is stuff that you guys have seen before, but I'm just going to point out my favorites and, you know, what I love right now um, <clears throat> that I can recommend for you guys to pick up at the sale in case you're interested, okay? Okay, so that I'll leave in there for now and I'll come back to it. So for complexion products, um, my favorite foundation of all time is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. I love it. I love it for mature skin. You know, it could be a light to medium coverage, but it gives me the perfect coverage that my natural skin still um, comes through. It evens out my skin tone and it doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles or enhance texture or pores in my skin. That's why I love it so much. Favorite um, foundation. I also love the Ilia True Skin Serum um, Concealers. I love these, especially when I have my perioral dermatitis um, you know, flare-ups and if I need to go somewhere, these, you know, cover it up great and don't cause me to get any more reactions um, or for it to spread or get um, inflamed is what I should say. <laughs> so I love the True Skin Serum Foundations. I have two shades because I like to use a lighter shade underneath my eyes because I like my eyes to look a little bit brighter, okay? Now, um, I do love the Westman Atelier A Vital Skin Foundation. So for those of you who are looking to try it, it's a great time since it will be um, on sale. So Vital Skin Foundation. Also, my other favorites for complexion products from Westman Atelier A are, of course, Biscuit, the Face Trace Contour Stick. Now this is the lighter shade. They do have a, a darker shade now. So I use Biscuit. I love this so much and you guys know that. And then I do love their Baby Cheeks um, Cream Blush. I think that this is a beautiful cream blush formulation. All right, and my last um, favorite product from Westman Atelier for the complexion is their Beauty Butter Bronzer. And I have this in color Soleil Riche, okay? So I'm still using this, by the way. I really, really love it. Um, if you guys are you know, looking to try the Beauty Butter Bronzer, Good time to try it why you can get it on sale i love it so so much okay so my next complexion product that's a favorite that i love is this kosas um this is their cloud set powder and i have the shade uh comfy which is in the medium category so i do love this powder it's been great i'm still using it and it does what it i need it to do uh so there's that one now, um, from Lawless, I have um, five of their blushes. I love the Lawless blushes. I believe they're like $24 a piece. What I am wearing today, which is my absolute favorite shade, is, and by the way, my makeup today is from their new Glam One palette, which I picked up. I did upload a short this morning for that. So I love, um, vintage love. This is my favorite blush from Lawless. That's what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing uh, this singly. Um, sometimes I like to pair it with uh, 
Sakura, which is really, really pretty. So I'll pair these two together, okay? Um, my other favorite blushes from Lawless are, I love this new one. This is called Desert Rose. This came in the Annie's Crimson and Violets uh, bundle from their site. So Desert Rose is really pretty. I wore this a couple of videos back, I think, when I did that look. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then I do love Angel Suede, too. It's sort of like a peachy shade, okay? Now, I do have this Soft Nectar shade, which I haven't really tapped into that much. Um, I did pair it with Soft um, Angel Suede once, but it is it is a pretty blush, too. So I just love the, the Lawless blushes. I mean, they work out great for me. They're actually the blushes that I reach for the most um, in my collection, and they last a long time. I just really love them so, so much. <laughs> okay, so that is it for complexion products. Um, let's go into eyes, shall we? So this isn't going to be a surprise to you guys, okay? So I um, did pick up the the new lawless palette the glam one i did a short um i also posted a sh um, instagram reel for this palette so i love this palette it's my new favorite lawless palette now i will tell you this shade right here which is called angel rose this applies better with your finger i have it on right here so my look today is actually um angel rose bohemia and sable i use those three colors from this palette today to create this look i really love it so this is going to be my main row i'm going to create a look with this row too here soon but if you guys would like for me to show you some looks with this let me know so this is limited edition it's so pretty I love it I hope that they make it permanent because I do do love it so pretty and then I have the other two palettes I have the baby one which is my favorite palette of all time so there's the baby one and then I also have the little one so I do love this palette I love all three of the lawless palettes that they have out right now very these these palettes are great. The shadows blend really easy. They're pigmented. They're affordable, guys. And you know it is clean. So if you're someone that who that matters to, they are clean and talc free. Okay. Now I will tell you that the glam one, like I said, is limited edition. So if that interests you, make sure you pick it up because I do love it. And like I said, I have it on my eyes today. It's really pretty, huh? All right, so those are my favorite products for eyes. Now let's get into, oh, brows. Okay, so my favorite brow gel, as you guys know, is the Kosas Air Brows. So this is my favorite. I love what this does for my brows. It volumizes them, it holds them, and it gives them the perfect tint. Now today I am wearing a soft brown. So I have two, I do taupe or soft brown. These, these are my two favorite colors, but this formulation rocks. I love it, I love it, love it so much. Oh, I have one more product from the Complexion products. So this is my favorite highlighter. This is the Ilia um, Daylight Hiding Powder in Decades. So this is the high highlighter that I pretty much wear every single time I do my makeup. You know, it's there's a lot of product in here, and I think I've had this for over a year now, so I'm probably gonna have to get ready to toss it um, very soon, but it lasts me forever. I love this highlighter, and I have a little bit on today. So there you go. All right, so lip products. Let's get into those really quickly. Sorry guys, I just have so much stuff and I'm trying to do a straight shot at shooting this video. <laughs> okay, so favorite lip gloss and highly recommend um, if you you know you've been following me is um, forget the filler plumping smoothing um, lip uh, gloss from Lawless. I love all three. Today I'm wearing Velvet with Honey Rose Lip Liner. I really like it with this makeup look. Um, so I love all three. They did release um, some new shades that were available in limited quantities. This two of them look similar to these two almost. Um, I did not pick those up. 
if they, you know, release them in the future, I may consider it, but they were so similar to these two shades that I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't need those right now. But there was one that was kind of like a bronzy um, pearl color that looked really pretty that I was interested in. So I love these lip glosses. I can't, I can't recommend them enough. They're, they are my favorite, as you know. Next, um, from Lawless, the two, my two favorite lipsticks are Baby. So I love Baby and Fawn. These are my two favorite lipsticks. And if you saw my Crimson and Violet's um, makeup look, I did a Get Ready. I think it was called Fall, 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 Favorite Fall Look. <laughs> God, I'm having issues talking. Ah, Favorite Fall Look. I did swatch all the Lawless lip colors for you guys. So those are my two favorite lipsticks. And my two favorite lip shines are... Um, Velvet and Babe. Okay, so those are my two favorites from that part. So those are my favorite uh, lip products from Lawless. Oh, I have two more. Lip liners. Pink Sand and Honey Rose. And like I said, today I'm wearing Honey Rose with the Velvet Lip Shine. It gives it more of a fallish look. Um, so just remember, you know, lip liners are great if you want to change your lip look or just to define your lips a little bit more. Westman Atelier, the squeaky clean lip balms. I have three shades. I have two here right now. I have, um, I think this is called Carcani, which gives your lips that just bitten look. So I love the shade. This is my new one that I picked up from the Credo Friends and Family Cell. This one is called, um, I believe it's Now Now, right? Yeah, Now Now. So this is like a peach coral shade. Of course, I mean, it doesn't really show up, but I just really love the way that these feel on the lips. The other one that I have is Chow Chow, which is like a baby pink. So these are the best lip oils out there on the market, guys. They're really, um, they feel really pill pillowy on the lips. They don't feel thin. They do last longer than the other lip formulations. So if you are interested in these, I highly recommend them because I love them. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I did forget another products for uh, eyes. Okay. So my favorite mascara, hands down, is the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. It's what I have on today. Okay. So my eyelashes are super crazy from that lash serum. I have some that are longer than others. Okay. And it looks like, um, I need to go get a refill on my lash extensions. <laughs> but the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara gives me the lashes that I love, which I love that Va Va Voom volume. So this is the winner for me. I do also love the um, Limitless Lash Mascara too. So this, you know, this does a little bit of volumizing and it does more define and lengthening. I love this one too. So Ilia gets my award for favorite mascara of the year, okay? All right, we have uh, four more things here and then we will be done, we'll wrap this up. Okay, tools that I like from Sephora makeup brushes, okay? For applying the Westman Atelier Foundation, I love the Rare Beauty Foundation Brush. Favorite concealer brush is the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. I love this for applying my concealer, especially around my eyes. Favorite, favorite. I do also like this Merit Beauty Foundation Brush. This is great also um, for applying like the Westman Atelier Foundation. Now, when my favorite foundation tool is actually a damp beauty blender. I have two, so when I use one, I wash it and then I go back into using this one. So Beauty Blender, I highly recommend those of you who have mature skin to invest in a sponge like a Beauty Blender if it's not the Beauty Blender because it really helps um, with your foundation for application. Um, it makes your skin, it makes your foundation look dewier. Um, it also helps the foundation from settling into the lines. At least it does, you know, for my Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. It gives me like the perfect application. And I do like to apply the Westman Atelier with this too. I apply it and then I use the damp beauty blender to um, go over my skin with it. So those are my favorite um, makeup tools from Sephora. All right, guys, I hope you loved this video. Um, if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And um, my next video in this series is going to be on my favorite devices. 
And I believe that's going to be it. I'll probably do, I'll do devices and probably favorite um, tools uh, that I love, okay? All right, guys, so I will see you soon. I love you and I'm sending you all so much love and light and have a beautiful weekend. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now.